from San Roman. We're in the foothills of Cotopaxi Volcano. Uh, I connected with Cotopaxi b, b on Instagram and they asked if I wanted to come and stay two nights here and of course I did. This is a new place on Airbnb. It's only been around for six months. However, this house has actually been in the family for eight years. They have a strawberry farm, also some aquaponics. I think they do some trout here. And this is in the middle of farmland in this small barrio. I'm so excited to spend some time here. We are out in nature, so far away from everything. Uh, we arrived just at sunset, so things are starting to get dark. However, tomorrow we're getting up early. Um, we're gonna go get some farm fresh eggs on the farm. Also pick some strawberries, have some breakfast, and then check out some of the nearby villages. Although I gotta say, I kinda just wanna hang inside at this place. Let me give you a tour. So here is the outside area. Look at that big front window. That is what sold it for me. Right in front, we have a fire pit. And if you want, you can play some volleyball or I'm not playing volleyball. It would just be Andreas and I. Let's get back to this. This is so gorgeous. I hope that the firewood is dry. It rained just a little bit earlier, but I would love to have a fire out here. And then coming in. Room tour time before we get messy. Groceries there, but this is a full kitchen with an oven, fridge. Actually, Jimmy gave us some strawberries from the property when we arrived. We're going to have more of those tomorrow. And then place to eat. This is the main living area. So there is a fireplace, places to sit. There's a hammock outside, which looks amazing. And then just over here, more places to sit. I think I will be writing from my journal there tomorrow, maybe meditating. And look at this view. The whole thing is in glass. I'm gonna quickly show you the bathroom. So pretty standard bathroom. Comes with toiletries, hot water. This sleeps five. So there are two more bunk beds. So let me just show you this master bedroom. And this is the best part. This is the view. Look at this, it's so lush and green. Right up there is Cotopaxi. Because it's late in the day, you can't quite see it, but you can see people. This is a real farming area. People are out working right now. I can't wait. I am so excited to spend the next two nights here. It's just so bright. And I love how we're staying in this family home that's been around for so long. And now they're inviting other people to have the same experience. So Andreas was just reminding me the story, Jimmy's story, which is really interesting. So his father grew up in this area um, he grew up here until he was five, but then they moved to a more urban area where there were schools um, and a little bit more for him. But he always has had so much heart for this place and wants to turn it into more of a, a touristic opportunity. And he's noticed that since the pandemic, a lot of people are looking for kind of that authentic experience. And before he said any of that, I was thinking, wow, this is such a unique opportunity to be in this house, like smack dab in the middle of all of this farmland. And it's just, it's just beautiful out here. And then Andreas didn't know this, but Jimmy also told us that in addition to the villages that are just not far away, um, you can also hike Cotopaxi from here, or there's an entryway to Cotopaxi from here. So let's go to Cotopaxi to see it, but we don't have to hike it. Good 
morning. It is cold. <laughs> it's six degrees here, which in Canada, well, it's probably six degrees in Canada right now too. Um, however, in Canada, we have central heating. Here we have this amazing fireplace that was fantastic last night, but not on this morning. It's cold. So the good thing is I bought a hat, toque if you're Canadian, and some warmer clothes in Otavalo. So I just need to layer up and then I'm ready to go. And I think Andreas is out bird watching somewhere, but he'll be back soon. So I didn't realize that someone would actually come and make our breakfast, but Miriam made us, these are Criollo eggs. So they're eggs from here. And then we have some fruit, some strawberries from here. We've got some ham and fresh cheese, queso fresco, very typical in Ecuador. And then also some great bread. Also, it was good to talk to her because she told me that there is no coffee maker here. But thankfully, Andreas is prepared, brought a mocha pot, also known as a cafetera here. And so we are going to have real coffee, not instant. Right, so this town you can get to Cotopaxi. I think it's the south entrance. And then this place here is so small. They call it a pueblo, but I think it's like a pueblito. This main square is tiny. So we made it to the parking lot in the back of Cotopaxi, so south facing. Didn't run into anyone else other than the park ranger. This is a national park in Ecuador and it's an important source of water for the people below. It is also actually technically taller than Everest. So if you count from the core of the earth to the top of Cotopaxi, which is way up there, it is taller than Everest and it's an active volcano. So if this erupted, it could kill over 2 million people, mostly in southern Quito, and it would decimate the economy of Ecuador. A lot of people who come here, like serious hikers, this is the volcano that they want to climb. Uh, you need to come here and actually train for it. A lot of people will train at Chimborazo, which is technically taller, but it's not as steep. This one is hard because it's so steep. So we've made it to the first kind of like parking lot area and that's as far as I'm gonna go because I am not a professional climber. Okay, I lied. Andreas just told me we are going to go up. There's like a refuge up there. Oh yeah, this is pretty steep. We're just gonna take our time. He needs to find some birds. I went to shoot some video. We don't even know if there's anybody up there. So, nice and easy. This is lower than Cajas National Park, right where we are right now. Um, I have felt okay, although I've been really taking it easy. Anjaya says it's harder on him. He finds the air thinner. Also, for some reason, I've got cell phone coverage H plus up here, 
which is really weird. So I was just on my phone while he was walking back to the parking lot. And although he was disappointed that it was foggy, I actually find it really beautiful. You don't get the views, but I don't know. There's so many really cool things just close to us. Again, all these flowers. Surrounded by a cloud on all sides. Still pretty though, even though you can't see anything. just left the park and it has gotten significantly less foggy. This is private land. I'm contemplating flying my drone. I don't fly my drone in national parks because it is not permitted. But the private land right next to it, it is permitted. <laughs> much farther down but already the vegetation has changed so much the it's so much bigger and then they've got these cool these cool ones which you don't see up there I have to ask Andreas what the name is again but I think it was like not fire starter but they look like a flame you find one in bloom This is the ranch's private land. There's so much <laughs> poop. <laughs> I mean, it's their land. But you really gotta watch where you walk. Like that. <laughs> really loved being out here it's so beautiful and not cold at all but it would be much colder than it really is but I will say this I need snacks <laughs> I think we've been out for a couple of hours and my stomach is empty and I'm like ah I think it's time for lunch so I'm hoping this guy over here agrees with me because yeah I'm hungry I am hungry and did you think this would be a video without lots of food? Of course not, because I love doing this, but I also want to eat lunch. So we're going to go down and find a spot to eat lunch. I 
I'm a little chilly actually now that we've come down, but I think that's because the sun is gone. So Andreas is first gonna make some hot coffee, warm up. <sighs> I don't know if this house is abandoned or what the deal is. It can't be, there are cows here. Ooh, we've got eggs for lunch. Some bread. Coffee, no? Yep. Wine? Maybe. That looks good. Cheers. <laughs> because it's plastic, it sounds like, you know, plastic. <laughs> Just in time. There's lightning too. Oh, it's hail. I don't know if you can see that. Wow, we made it home right before it started to hail. Well, it was pretty high. Mm -hmm. 